eBay sellers, it's Suzanne, and I'm coming to you from my kitchen wearing my inventory. Sometimes you just can't resist. I thought this jacket was just really neat and fun. So, hey, it's my inventory till it sells. Anyway, I wanted to update you on something I discovered last week in my quest to find more items that are not clothing and are small easy to ship and don't take up much room to store. So I came across these two containers that were stretch wrapped full of knives. Now that's something that I never look at. And there they are right in front of me. And a little backstory on that. Some of you may remember that I talked about earlier this year, losing a loved one. And it actually was the love of my life and he was a chef. So he would come over to my house to cook and I just thought it was wonderful because I'd never had anybody cook for me. It was always me taking care of my then ex-husband or kids and this was just such a treat to have somebody who would cook for me. So when he came over he brought his own knives. So the first time he did that he got out his pouch of knives and rolled them out on the counter and started selecting which knife he was going to use to cook whatever we were having. And I was just so impressed that I was like, what is that? And he's like, oh, this is my professional knife set, blah, blah, blah. And he started talking all about the knives. And I wish I had paid more attention, but I did know that knives can be very expensive because he always had a very expensive knife set that were high quality and durable. And so anyway, I found these two containers of knives and on the very top was this one that looked really high quality. And there's a lot of information about what makes a knife high quality. I'll get into that in a different video, but right on top was this very expensive one. So the two containers of knives were 757 each so 15 bucks and I thought you know I'm gonna get that and just take it home and go through it and see what's in there so surprisingly there was a pampered chef bread knife in there and I looked that up and was surprised at how much those go for it sold for $25 in about 12 hours so that more than paid for those two containers of knives the rest will be just profit this one here um, I have up for sale for 49 some have sold for that much and then I have this Rogers kind of hard to see with the glare Rogers stainless um, for $19.99 and a couple days later I was in a different thrift store and right in front of me is this beautiful Hinkle's knife set which is not lightweight to ship, but uh, it was just so beautiful. It had all the knives with it. It was missing the scissors, but the beautiful birchwood knife block, it was $20 and I've got 125 on that one. So we'll see how that one goes. It's a smaller set and missing the scissors. So anyway, um, I'm very optimistic about this niche. Now, what I have noticed is that thrift stores don't really put knives out very much. And if they do, they're all bundled together so you really can't see what's in the bundle. And I'm sure that is for liability purposes. They don't want people picking up these knives and running around the store with them and getting hurt or little kids getting hurt. So they're not really easy to find everywhere you go. Um, I know pocket knives are a huge niche where you need a lot of education on what sells and I'm not really moving into that yet. I haven't even seen any of those show up in front of me, but I feel like, um, you know, kitchen knives are going to be an interesting new niche for me because when people do house cleanouts, they just sort of bundle everything up and donate it. They're not going to go through all that stuff in kitchen drawers. An estate sale company might, but I have friends whose parents have passed away and I've helped them do some house cleanouts, and it's just a matter of they want to get through it. They want to get it over with. 
And so things like this are going to get bundled up and donated, and they may be quite high dollar if you know what to look for. So anyway, I'm really optimistic about learning more about this. There's a lot of good information online about what makes a high quality knife and all the different brands and the different types of knives, and they're pretty easy to ship. You just roll them up in cardboard, and that's easy enough, so it fits. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I know I have viewers who are much more knowledgeable about this than I am, but um, as your eBay business evolves, you continue to discover new things. Next year will be my 18th year, and I still discover all kinds of things I can sell that are under the radar, like Goodwill doesn't know about it, they're not gonna price it up, they can't price everything up. You know, they're on to the trucker jackets, they're on to the jewelry, um, they're on to a lot of things that we know about. They're on to the uh, Dale of Norway sweaters, you know, some of these things that we've known about for years or that I learned about when I first started. So it's just a matter of working around what they know because there's always going to be things they're going to miss. They just don't have the manpower, employee power to evaluate every single thing that comes into their stores. And that goes for all thrift stores. So stay optimistic, look for new niches, new things to sell. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I would love your comments below. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.